-hmm. Again, he's he's looking for something of value. And so he found it, didn't he? He found something. And, you know, as we go through this experience in creation, <clears throat> we decide how we are going to figure out or define what we're experiencing. So he has this experience, and he, the idea is he's looking for money. And so, again, uh, he's the decider of his life. Uh, you know, it's showing his intent there. Is that what he wants? Uh, you know, in other words, you know, when you decide something and want to have it, you can have it if that's what you want. And so yeah. now he, you know, he can compare that to the isness and see the difference. So he's going through these experiences like all of us. We keep doing it until we keep refining it as as long as we want to, you know, keep becoming more aware. So again, it's his decision about what he's found and uh, you know, what his life is to be. He he's deciding that. So again, this gives him a hint uh, as to, you know, what is possible and, uh, you know, also in a way what is not needed. But again, uh, we have the personal self. So the personal self is always part of the experience. So we got to figure that out. You know, what is it we really want? What is it we really want to be? You had the experience that you were just like your computer. You were refreshed by the fact that you put your attention on them and uh, you had this experience. Well, it took your attention off uh, the other situation. And for now, uh, as long as you do that, well, then it uh, it's like it doesn't exist. You see? So again, it's all about our attention, our intent, and practicing this until we get through all these things that we really don't need. I'll start with uh, a post one of the new friends put on the Facebook here. It's a part of a discourse with where they worship and pray to the ghostly gods. Like the sun shining, there is only one true reality that all is. On the earth, there is mainly planned deception from the Keck systems. The earth is a giant amusement park and nothing more. You are here for the time that it takes you to wake up and recognize the all is. This true recognition is very real and is more than just knowing about the idea of the all is. The true reality life is, is an all aliveness. You have been taught that life is the spirit idea, which refers to the astral realm and the astral light that most people see in their third eye. This is where the first God of man resides and is the most common and emotionally taplined to the masses. This is the paradise and happy hunting grounds where people feel all their emotional sensations and the idea of love they have. The astral realm, like all the psych realms, is a place in life, whereas the real universes with the all is, is an all aliveness and a real position of beingness. We will each have many experiences on the many life levels, and how you view your position depends upon your intent with the whole of life. Some people are looking for love, peace, escape, thrills, and other things that pertain to the personal self only. Of course, as long as you have a body, you will have a personal self. But it is your true intent that separates you from the ordinary person 
and this is something only you can decide. Real survival should be the first position to consider because it makes sense. And then you can decide to be happy and love whatever you want to. When a person seeks the idea of love alone, then they usually do not have a real experience in the real universes. And so what they are really seeking is some kind of emotional attachment, just like all those who pray and worship their ghostly gods to have a form of sensationalism. Thank you.